Okay, really quick, you guys can see how much damage is done to this front bumper. Busted out grow pieces, paint, busted up, cracked at the bottom. So that's why we went with a uh, OEM replica bumper. Fortunately, it's just been a pain in the ass trying to find any OEM bumpers around me anyways right now. So we did do this one. I did do it front lip on it. The lip is a little pushed up because it's on the ground, not bolted in or set in yet. But I got this bumper and a hatchback bumper, which I don't really need, basically. I paid for this bumper the same price I would have paid by itself. Uh, I got a deal on eBay when they came. So I'm just gonna sell this hatchback bumper brand new in good shape. Um, but these came and they folded right out fine. I let them sit out like they said, and it, it looks great. So I'll show you how it looks on the car here soon. Okay, so you can see why we're going with the new headlights here. We got the hole in here where non-stop condensation's getting into and the corner lights are just they're all cracked on each side this driver's side headlight i'm going to save it's in good shape i do love the oem headlights but it's just like i said kind of tough to find a set right now uh, around me anyways and this corner light's just completely destroyed so really quick we're going to do this this is really easy with the bumper off basically you just got to take this bolt 10 millimeter off you loosen it up a little and you can slide it out get the two 10 mils right up here and then you have your uh, corner light bolt your screw right there and I believe uh, there might be one more that yeah there's one more down here I believe that goes into the headlight right there let me focus on there for you so we're gonna change those out really quick and then uh, should look much better and then get on to the bumpers okay ignore the bird shit we're getting ready to power wash and clean this thing up a little uh, not that there's much save in this paint, but we're gonna try to do what we can to make it a little bit better. But the headlights are in, you can see. The corner lights, I was an idiot and I jumped on a deal really quick. Honestly, I still saved myself money because I found a set of these headlights, corner lights, smoke black, for like 75 bucks, where they're normally going for like 150 or more uh, for the sets that I was finding. Um, and it ended up coming with four door corner lights. I was like, damn it, why these don't match until Obviously, I mocked them up and I was like, wait a minute, these are four-door. So I had to order and wait a couple days for um, the coupe slash hatch corner lights. So we got the front lip on, got the front bumper. Everything bolted up like OEM very well. Uh, this bumper is a bumper made in Taiwan, but honestly, the fitment was pretty darn good. Uh, the lip fitments from Magic Drift is okay. You know, it was an eBay basically lip. I didn't expect it to be spectacular, but still not bad for what it is. Um, I say the front end looks a lot better with this thing being lowered now. Uh, headlights are much brighter. No more condensation getting in there. And then we did do, it came basically, we paid the same price for the front lip while getting a free rear lip. Really was about the same price everywhere I was looking. It was just, once sometimes when you look for those deals, you can find them. So we put it on. It's not the best fitment. I wanted to keep the OEM mud flap, so I kind of molded it in with it. Uh, I do gotta get some 3M tape and hold up the corners a little bit better. I didn't wanna put some screws in there because I ran out of 3M tape, but honestly, it just backing up already starting to look better. So I can't wait to get this thing completely, you know, or body-wise refinished. That's gonna be a while, but I think it's gonna look really good for her and she's gonna be really happy, so. All right, so we cleaned her all up, parked her. Unfortunately, I got a bunch of calls today and didn't get to get to every vehicle I wanted. I want to get everything done today, both Preludes, Civic, MDX, and the CRV. Um, but we did just for the hell of it. I mean, the paint is terrible. You guys know that from seeing it earlier in this video or other videos. But Sud stuff has just always been awesome to me. And uh, this is the Illuminant. And um, this is a sealant hybrid wax. And just for the hell of it, we did it on some of the parts that were fading pretty bad. Now, we didn't do the hood or the roof because that's just so bad. I did do a small part of the roof where the um, sunroof visor was just for the hell of it. But for the rest of it, we were like, oh, we'll just do the rest of the body. And it came out pretty clean. I am really surprised with how much that revived this old paint uh, standing from a distance and driving up on it. It actually doesn't look so bad. Um, you know, of course, then you get up close and you see it and you're like, oh, the paint is rough. But the spoiler's coming off because it's it's cracked and faded and warped. Uh, unfortunately, I like the spoiler a lot, but we're going to go with a carbon fiber trunk probably down the road. 
so we're not gonna replace the OAM spoiler but you guys can see it's cracked it's fading the light is loose I mean and that trunk I don't think was originally had that spoiler on there even though it's OEM for the coupe that the trunk didn't have the um there's a type of like two bars basically that run across uh, to hold up a, a trunk with a spoiler to, you know to deal with the weight better basically and that did not have it so I don't think this one originally had a spoiler at one time but for what it is 94 a little bit of rust where it was when we got about a month ago it's come quite a bit of ways it's already looking better there is a little condensation in that headlight but I did do some very heavy power washing in the engine bay so that kind of I hope that's just it um, the other one's actually pretty good and then of course the interior was pretty clean last time we cleaned it but I don't think I showed any videos still a little bit of stuff we can do to it but for now it's how it is and the main relay went out too so it was having trouble starting so we put a brand new main relay in it too and uh, of course lowered it with the max speeding rod coilovers does have a test pipe on it I found out and a can and intake on it that's the only thing you know modded wise it's automatic not going for much power but we did do the uh, dynamic R headlights black housing headlights smoke corner lights uh, magic drift aerodynamics front and rear lip and for now I think that's kind of it for a little while uh, we are gonna swap my wheels on it when I put my new wheels on the prelude so yeah if you like I said you stand from a distance it doesn't look too bad <laughs> and then of course with the carbon fiber hood carbon fiber trunk save us a little money on paint um, and it will still look good so yeah we're gonna do that in the future and then have it repainted and the rust work done but all right YouTube figured I'd do a quick video and update on it. I had a few people asking so can't wait to see the finished product in the long run